Hey family, I came across a young lady in a video and what made me hit play was because she had like in a bubble right on here in this area that said something about why did she taste pennies or something crazy like that. So my curiosity got the better of me and I pressed play. Now there's a young lady on there, a young lady, who's explaining how she was going down on another woman and began to taste something like pennies. I wanted to vomit at the thought, firstly, of another woman doing that to another woman. Then, to know that this woman was bleeding. When we bleed, it is nothing but waste and toxicity coming out. It's not like it's jello, jelly, or cranberry sauce. It is waste coming out. And for her to be so bold as to make a video talking about that nastiness, it just made me look at the world at large and how sick-minded we are as a people. We are sick. This young lady made a video about putting her mouth on another woman and drinking and tasting her blood. I have to pause for a minute because the levels, the things that people do for likes and attention, it, it will never cease to amaze me. And then to top it off, the ignorant people in her comments. Oh, I had that happen before. What is wrong with you people? How many demons y'all got riding inside of you to think that that's okay? It's not okay if a man did that, let alone another woman putting her mouth on another woman during her menstrual cycle. We are living in some really sick times. There's a scripture in Leviticus, I think it's Leviticus 19, 18. And it says a man shouldn't come upon a woman during that time of the month. Meaning that that's not a time to be having intimacy. You allow that woman to allow that blood to excrete from her body. And she has to be washed from that in uncleanness. You don't have sexual acts when somebody is bleeding. Why would you want to put your mouth on somebody when they're bleeding? You have to be possessed with a demon. That's the only way that makes any sense. You are demonically possessed. And proud to talk about that in public. That's the thing. The lack of shame. The lack of shame people have. Bold and strong in your wrongdoing. You want to publicly tell people that that's what you did. And you know, some, some place deep down inside of me, I be wanting to believe it's a joke or something that's done for shock value. Because I declare, I don't want to believe that people are that sick. I don't want to believe that. And even if you're doing it for shock value because you just want a following when people think you crazy and outrageous. And let me tell you what this girl said. And people will come on your page and now subscribe because they want to hear filthy crap like that. Even if it was a joke or a lie. What a joke or a lie to tell. You could think of anything else. You had to come out of the depths of the mud and the muck to come up with that crap. And then the people applauding it, condoning it, agreeing with it, laughing at it. People are sick. 
People's minds are sick and depraved. And I get why some parents just bow out gracefully from their relationship with their children. Nobody wants to birth something like that. Somebody who can go so left and then just be so open to the world and tell people that you're doing filthy things like that. It's so ungodly and disgusting. I be thinking I heard it all, but I know this is not the end. And then to discuss the other thing people are doing and making a big deal about it. There's so many songs about people putting their mouths on another person's rectal area. And I know all that mess started with the gay community, the gay men doing those things to one another. But come on, family. Your rectum is not a place where your mouth belongs. All types of secretion comes out of there. Bacteria. That is disgusting. And this is what I was talking about. I shared in a video before. I said that when you are unsatisfied with sex and you start exploring, you're never going to reach the high that you wish to reach. Because the disgusting things that you do, they're just going to keep getting worse and worse and worse. And that's a demonic force moving within you when you have that type of desire where nothing is enough and you want to keep pushing the envelope and doing things worse and worse, even inflicting pain. And y'all know that urinating on one another, defecating on one another. People are sick. And this is how Satan does. The Most High made making love to be something beautiful. The Bible calls it the pleasure that comes with sleep. The pleasure that comes with sleep between a man and a woman. And look at the beautiful thing that the Most High God gave us to connect to one another. How Satan into the hearts of man and the things that men are doing. Man and woman are doing for pleasure. Going way beyond what God intended for us to do. Doing things that are unseemly and low. And then writing a song about it. And making a video about it. And talking about it. Everything is acceptable. Everything is acceptable to people. And God is not accepting it. But who cares about what God thinks, right? He's only our creator. Who cares about what he thinks? You would rather do things to make Satan smile, laugh at you. And that's what people don't get. And that would, that's touches my heart a lot. Because I'm like, people are doing so many things against God. And when you have people who love the Lord come on their page and comment and tell them, listen, repent. God is not pleased. They get upset. Don't come on my page with that crap, with your opinion. But they have no idea how much the Lord loves them. He loves you so much. He sent his son to die for those wretched sins, those same wretched sins that I discussed in the, this part of the earlier part of the video. He sent his son to redeem us from that, to help heal us from that stuff. He bled and died for us. To give us another opportunity to get it right. And so when you share that with people. They want to get upset. They get offended. They don't understand that the, the stuff they're doing is satanic. Satan couldn't care any less than he does right now about you. He wants to destroy your opportunity to be with the most high God. Because he can no longer go back. He has gone so far he can't repent. So he doesn't want you to have the opportunity to repent. But as long as I have breath in me and I see those things, I'm going to comment under those pictures, those videos. I'm going to say something. Time is running out, family. And a lot of people are running around talking about how much they love the Lord and how good the Lord is to them when they really don't know who he is. Because you could say in one breath, oh, I put my mouth on her and drank her blood and then turn around and say, oh, God just blessed me. You know, God is good. What? Do you understand what the most high God wants for you in your life? Do you understand that he wants you to be righteous and holy? 
He wants you to know your place and take it. Take your rightful position as a righteous human being. <laughs> it's crazy. I, I, I mean, I don't have anything else to say. But to see my people going down in a downward spiral into hell with Satan, it bothers me. And to see so many of us being able to applaud that publicly, condone it, agree with it. You're in agreement with losing your soul. You're in agreement with Satan. It's mind blowing. Mind blowing. My God. Mm, mm, mm. And I know I probably don't know the worst. I'm just finding out a lot of these things. I know, I know I don't know the worst. And somewhere deep down inside, I don't even want to know. I don't want to hear nastiness like that. To know that people are that filthy and depraved. <sighs> Peace, love, and blessings, family. <laughs>